Hello and welcome again to this edition of Fi TV. I'm your host, Brad Swanson. We are coming to you from inside the Florida Capitol during the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. We are joined by our good friend, Representative Tom Fabricio. Welcome back to the program. Oh, thank you so much, Brad. Thank you for having me. All right, so insurance, it's the talk of the day. There's a crisis, what's going on? So the insurance carriers in the state of Florida are having a pretty heck of a hard time and more insurance carriers are becoming insolvent. Uh, recently, uh, Dematech, the insurance rating agency downgraded St. John's Insurance, so 140,000 policyholders are gonna be shifted to another carrier. So it's a big problem. We, have, we need to make sure that we can right the ship with the insurance markets in Florida. We need to make sure that we can attract new insurance carriers to, to the state of Florida so we can balance premiums and so right. folks' premiums aren't rising the way they are right now. Now, is this just in the homeowners? Is this in the property and casualty? Is this for car insurance or is it all of the above? The main issue is with homeowners insurance, so property and casualty and homeowners. Um, and it's for homeowners policies for, for people who own their homes and they need insurance to be able to, uh, to weather the storm. Um, and what's the solution? The solution is that we need to attract more insurance carriers into the state of Florida. When there are more participants in the market competing for your business, uh, the prices will come down. But right now, because there's too much litigation, uh, too many people suing insurance carriers, too many different things like that happening, um, the insurance carriers are, are getting out of the state or they're not finding it profitable here. And if it's not profitable for them, they're gonna raise their premiums or they're gonna get out of town. Yeah, Florida, I think, currently ranks 46th worst if you're an insurance carrier to, to make it easy to sue an insurance company. So you're working on tort reform laws and laws like that to make it easier for those companies to enter, correct? That's right, well, we're working on that's part of it, and Senate Bill 76 last year worked towards that in a big way. It just hasn't come into fruition yet. And so the concern is the insurance carriers that are still dealing with the tales of Michael and the other uh, hurricanes, they're still dealing with litigation regarding those storms. So they're not able to have the reserves they need right now to be able to go forward and to be able to be sustainable. So that needs to be resolved. Well, we know no one's working harder on that issue than you. Um, law enforcement insurance, what's going on in that world? So I filed a bill that will provide auto insurance coverage for police officers while they drive their cars home and to work. So right now, some agencies, like for example, the City of Miami Police Department, uh, when they hire a new police officer, they give them a gun, a badge, and a car, and they tell them, you gotta take that car home because there's nowhere to park it here. And oh, by the way, you're, you have to get auto insurance coverage for that car that's not yours, uh, and uh, some insurance carriers don't cover those cars. So what my bill does is it provides that the police agency, if they're gonna have a take-home program where the cops are gonna have to take their cars home, they have to provide that auto insurance for the cop. Looking out for that law enforcement officer and keeping them whole while they serve the, the citizens of the state of Florida. That's right, that's right. Well, Representative Fabricio, you promised to come back on and tell us where this is all at next week? Absolutely, Brad. Thank, Thank you for so coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fi TV. Make sure you hit us up on our social media feeds for more great interviews like this one. And for now, thanks for tuning in.